Third rail. The same Kendra who bombed little Joe Shack and killed four innocent drifters. If you want to see the Silver Shroud in action, stay near Whitechapel Charlie. The Shroud's sure to interrogate him to find the evildoer's whereabouts. You're the one that wants to use G519's body? I... I just don't have the caps to keep her alive anymore. Life support ain't easy or cheap, you know? I was gonna pull the plug on her. What you're proposing sounds... a little better. Better than letting her rot. She'll be giving what's left of her life for someone else. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Since G5 has no one else, for what it's worth, you have my consent. Thank you. I know this must be difficult. Yeah, I'll leave you to it. Curie, let's begin. Curie, terminate all non-essential operations. Affirmative. All right, connection complete. I have access to your friend's memories. G5's already been prepped, so this shouldn't take long yes there <gasps> i i my chest what is happening just breathe it's an autonomic function just let your body do what it must i i feel i feel so strange listen to me can you hear me what is your name my designation is Contagions Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer. Or Curie. That's promising. Good. Very good. Now let's test some cognitive functions. What is one plus two? Three. If I threw a baseball at your head, what would you do? Uh, move. Think of a strong memory, the first that comes to mind. Tell me about it. <sighs> Dr. Barrow was very old. He was the last living scientist in my section of Vault 81. He was on his bed, very weak. He said to me, Curie, you must... And he died before he finished the sentence. Oh, my insights feel peculiar. What is that? She sounds good, Doc. The operation appears successful. But I think it will take a lot of adjustment for your new friend. She may need your help to make the transition. Thank you, Doctor, for this opportunity. <laughs> 